this is Redbeard and on this adventure I head to Wing Ding 43. But first, I have breakfast with Memphis Mike. Well, it's a little after 5 a.m. It's time for me to head out. Uh, first stop will be to have breakfast and then I shall head on to Wing Ding. Shreveport, here I come. So, Wing Ding 42 was my first one. You can even watch that video of my first experience. I had no clue what was going on. Um, this time I, I saw an email since I registered that explained what was happening, when what was happening, and all that stuff. I'm assuming I missed it last year, but either way it goes, I had no idea what was going on last year. Uh, this time I, I've been before, I've seen the schedule. Uh, I know about what's happening, I know when it's happening, I signed up for a class, and something I've not really heard anyone else talk about on YouTube is the fact that uh, GWRA, at the Wing Ding, has a whole bunch of different classes you can take. Um, I'm going to be taking the one for pulling my trailer, so it's for two wheels, they have one for trikes, uh, like I said, I'll be taking this one for two wheels. Uh, I have well over 3,000 miles pulling this thing, but I have a definitely like to uh, see what Goldwing has to say about pulling the trailers. I mean, a lot of people complain about my uh, dark side. I, I think pulling the trailer is much more dangerous than running a car tire. You got a, a different dynamic back there. So I'm, I'm curious to find out what they teach about it. So I left about 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, excited to meet Memphis Mike. I've uh, met a few other YouTubers. You know, last year I met Chris Caliente and Tech Sam, uh, went to Sturgis and met Two Wheels Big Life and all along the way. I've been wanting to meet Memphis Mike. I was hoping he was going to be there last year. I found out he wasn't going this year, uh, so I reached out to him to see if I could meet him since I got to drive right through Memphis anyway. And he agreed, so we'll meet for, lunch, uh, for breakfast and uh, I'll, I'll get, finally get to meet somebody I've talked to quite a bit through uh, social media and watched lots of videos of him. I got to eat some of Memphis Mike's cooking. Let me tell you, it's as good as it looks. Uh, we visited for about two hours. Oftentimes I wonder if people are really as nice in real life as they seem on YouTube. Memphis Mike is a real deal. He's actually nicer in person than on YouTube. Memphis Mike, thanks for your hospitality. Hope to see you on YouTube soon. So with a full belly, I head off. I leave uh, Tennessee into Arkansas, and then I make my way down to Louisiana. So I do hope to get some good Cajun food while I'm down here. So here I am at the KOA uh, looking for a primitive campsite. So I got to the campsite. It's uh, more primitive than I thought it was. I mean, this is primitive. It's just a field. So it is a lot like uh, where we're going to camp in Sturgis. So that part's good, some good practice might be more primitive than that as far as here goes uh do have access to pool and showers and all that so that part's good but uh i'll get this set up well i got the uh tent all up i have a number of things still to uh, put away and figure out where i'm going to put uh, I knew this was going to be a primitive site, but I thought it might have a picnic table. So I did see there's a number of gold wingers in here, um, but we're all spaced out pretty well. It seems pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna get a little bit of morning sun, uh, but not afternoon sun. I'll probably won't set up my solar panel tomorrow because I will probably spend most of tomorrow uh, at the convention. I got the training in the afternoon. I'll probably run, get registered and then look at the, uh, the trade show a bit and then my training four hours in the afternoon. So I won't be here very much tomorrow um, and I will take my uh, power station with me and just chart, make sure it's charged fully on the bike. So not a problem. But I need to get settled and uh, figure out some groceries, maybe. So I got my groceries at the local Walmart. It's like five minutes away. Uh, 20 minutes of a walk, but uh, the road didn't look that great. 
Uh, the only problem I had is I forgot to get ice, but I can get it here at the KOA. And the other problem I had is when I left Walmart, I was in such a hurry to try to get back before it got too terribly dark that I forgot to strap my cooler down. So as I uh, get ready to turn, my cooler falls off my trailer. Things go flying everywhere right there on the road. I will say that little uh, yellow plastic egg holder that you get from Walmart for a couple bucks, it saved my eggs. They weren't cracked. At least they didn't look cracked last night. Well, We'll see how they are in the morning uh, as I, I go to make breakfast. But uh, that's uh, that's basically day one for me. If you're at Wing Ding, I hope to see you. If not, comment below why you couldn't make it. Uh, was it something that uh, was going on with Wing Ding or just life happening? Anyway, I hope to see you in the comments.